Thank you, everyone. A very good morning, uh, everyone present in this uh, inaugural session of the conference. Honorable Chairman is Adamus Trust, uh, Shri Murti Ji, Secretary Aditya Murti Sir, uh, Trust Advisor, Professor Subhash Mehra Ji, Dean uh, Professor Prabhakar Gupta Ji, Principal SRMS Institute of Medical Sciences, uh, Professor Gupta Sir, Dr. Rochi, Madam Chaturvedi from Nursing College, all the heads uh, of the departments uh, of SRMS College of Engineering Technology, College of Engineering Technology and Research, and the most eminent uh, figures have uh, joined uh, through virtual platform, Dr. Monica Sethi, Chief Guest of the occasion, uh, Honorable Vice Chancellor, KK Modi University, Turk Chhattisgarh. Mr. Ashish Shukla Chi has also joined with us. Uh, he is the keynote speaker of the morning. He is uh, HR head, Dhampur Sugar Mills Limited, New Delhi. And uh, the guest of honor for this occasion is uh, Mr. Walls, who has joined us uh, virtually from USA. The duty uh, assigned to me is uh, to make the house aware about the theme of the conference. So as uh, the name is uh, very well self-explanatory, it is emerging issues in contemporary business practices in the era of intelligence. And the sub-theme we are taking it is sustainable economic development through technological transformation. So when we uh, focus on the topic, the topic is having four key terms. The first is era of intelligence, which is surrounding all of us. That is sustainable development. We are having an eye on sustainable development. As Dr. Prabhakar Gupta Ji has already made the house aware that United Nations General Assembly has already passed in 2015 and it is the agenda for the next 10 years or next 8 years also. They are planning to achieve this uh, agenda by 2030, where they have specified 17 sustainability goals. And these sustainability goals, if we talk of them, they include good health and well-being, zero poverty, zero hunger, quality education, clean water and sanitation, affordable and clean energy, etc. So we are all striving for uh, achieving these goals so that so as to ensure the happiness and prosperity on the universe. Whenever we talk of sustainable development, we always keep an eye on the future generations. That future generations must not feel deprived of the resources due to the over due to the excessive uh, exploitation of the resources by our present actions. That is basically the sustainability objective which we wish to achieve. So keeping an eye on sustainable development, we come to the era of intelligence. See it is a pyramid which is based by data, then comes information, then knowledge, then intelligence, then wisdom. So as if we talk of years back, Say 50 years back, the challenge was how to process data. Data processing was the key focus. Then we came to the stage when information was retrieved from the data. And now the challenge was how to generate knowledge, how to record knowledge. We came up, we uh, evolved various knowledge systems, various expert systems. Now we have again moved a step ahead towards intelligence. Now we, the target is to inculcate intelligence into the machine. We are coming up with the various uh, initiatives of machine intelligence. And now when the intelligence will be practiced over the years and it will be equipped with the experiences, it will strengthen the intuition and that will be the stage of wisdom and over the years, say 20 years ahead, the scenario will be changed and we all will be striving for wisdom in machines. So that is the journey. The human being is very innovative, it is very uh, creative. It is not sitting idle after achieving a particular target. Again it is 
continuously striving for the development, for the innovation, for the creation of new things. So that is the era of intelligence. Now comes the third focus, the third concept which is highlighted in the topic. It is technological transformation. The automation has started years back in the industrial processes. But now we are emphasizing on the integration of these processes. As say 20 years back, we introduced technologies for marketing processes. Then afterwards, we introduced technology into advertising processes. Now in 2015, scientists, they come up and they have evolved the term, it is neither MarTech nor EdTech, it is MedTech, marketing and, marketing and advertising technologies. Both the processes are integrated. Right from a person is coming to the digital platform, the companies are targeting marketing as well as advertising up to the uh, mature, maturing of the transaction. So that is remarketing, social media campaign, social media advertising. This is all due to this MedTech initiative. So this is the state of technological transformation which is happening. Now, IT enabled automation, IoT, sensor technology, everywhere the scenario is completely changed. We are basically in an integrated environment where all the processes are integrated and this word is data driven. When we talk of data driven uh, systems, we emphasize analytics over engineering. So we are in the domain of analytics. Data that has already been generated, the voluminous data, the challenge is how to deal with that voluminous data so as to analyze it properly and take informed decisions for the effectiveness of the efforts. So that is the scenario and the fourth component of the topic, it is emerging issues in contemporary business practices. As we all know, businesses, they are operating in society, which is very, which is ever changing. The social environment, the social technique, technological environment, economic environment, political environment, every day it is changing. We are a global community now. The, the, uh, the events that are happening place, uh, place in Europe are affecting India equally. In, in uh, no time, the impact is observed here. So that is basically, in such a changing environment, the success of the business enterprises lies in how effectively they manage with the changes. How effectively they adapt themselves. So adaptability is the key to success. Keeping these four keeping these four domains in mind, we have chosen this topic for the conference of this year. And the papers received are classified into five different tracks. One track is for marketing, second is for HR, third is for general management and IT, fourth is for finance, and for promoting explanation, explanation capabilities of the students. We have organized all the students' participation in offline mode and there is a separate track, dedicated track for it. So we are, some, we are keeping five tracks for this conference wherein deliberations will be made throughout the day. I hope that some issues will be highlighted and with, with which will help us to take the word ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you.